Sometimes it is hard to tell the difference between freestanding emergency centers and urgent care clinics. Roland Rodriguez is over at Physicians Premier <laughs> Emergency Room this morning. And Roland, it is a bit confusing. What's the difference between the two? Hi, good morning, Mike, and good morning, South Texas. An ER is for trauma, life-threatening conditions. An urgent care facility is like visiting your doctor. They could, I guess, treat conditions like the flu or minor burns. Okay, well, we can certainly... But there's a bigger difference. While an urgent care clinic's billing is usually similar to that at your doctor's office, billing at a freestanding emergency room is like a trip to a hospital ER complete with a facility fee. The Texas uh, legislature have set up to where insurance companies are to pay in network for any emergency care. So uh, even though we're out of network, the laws have been set up so that the insurance companies see that as an in-network charge. There are different copays uh, as far as urgent care and ER, and we fall under an ER copay, so that does affect our patients. Freestanding ERs can also help relieve overcrowding at hospitals. Texas gets an F on the ratings for access to care, and we're trying to provide a source that actually kind of goes at that problem. And, and gives a solution for it. Physicians Premier is one of the 200 plus independent freestanding emergency centers in Texas that aren't affiliated with a hospital and aren't recognized by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. So people with that insurance may have to pay full price if they go there. Senator Cassidy from Louisiana has a couple of bills that he's uh, going to introduce and hopefully with that and push through Congress, we can get things kind of settled to where we can actually take Medicare, Medicaid, and actually bill for it. This bill would allow patients to feel comfortable accessing freestanding emergency centers and would impact rural health care access in Texas. I think the hurricane really spotlighted how valuable we really are. And when Hurricane Harvey hit, you know, we were open before several of the major hospitals, and we were able to see patients much sooner than, than most of the big hospitals. Let me also add that freestanding ERs do take most insurance, and if you do not have insurance, they will work with you and set up a payment plan. 